In our previous video, we have installed Kali NetHunter's full version on Nokia 6.1 Plus, which is a listed device on the Kali Linux download page. If you have not yet watched it, click the i button to watch it now. What if your device name is not listed, but you want to install Kali NetHunter on your rooted Android device? Here, in this video, we will be going to install Kali NetHunter on a non-listed device. Always remember, your device must be rooted. Before getting started, make sure you have already subscribed to my channel, if not, click the subscribe button now and also press the bell icon to stay connected with us. Rooting a device may be problematic, but you will have to find your own way to root your Android device. Firstly download the Kali NetHunter Lite from Kali.org. Here, we have to download Kali NetHunter based on architecture and storage. For example, I am here using Samsung Galaxy J7 2015 model with 1.5GB of RAM and 16GB of storage. Based on the specification, this device architecture is a 32-bit of architecture. So, we have to download ARM HF. As the memory storage is not sufficient for the full version, which means we have to download the nano version. Once the download is complete, we will have to install Kali NetHunter Lite. I recommend you install Kali NetHunter Lite on Lineage OS. Why Lineage OS? Lineage OS contains fewer bloatware applications and is easily customizable. The most important thing is, while booting the device, you can showcase Kali boot animation. Firstly, let's take a look at how to install Kali NetHunter Lite on Lineage OS. To install the Kali NetHunter Lite version on your device, launch Magisk Manager from the application menu. From here go to the Modules tab, and import the file so that it will automatically flash Kali NetHunter custom ROM. This process may take around 25 minutes or more based on system performance. The custom ROM is flashed. Now, reboot your device. Now, launch Kali NetHunter application from application menu. Allow the location permission. Now, grant super user privilege. Once super user privilege is granted, the Kali NetHunter app automatically detects installation files. Kali NetHunter successfully boots up, but Kali CRUT Manager is not up and running. To set up Kali CRUT, tap on the Kali CRUT Manager icon. As you can notice, the Kali CRUT already had installed, but various file systems still need to be mounted. So we have to start Kali CRUT to start Kali CRUT environment. Now Kali CRUT is up. When the Kali CRUT manager is running, you can use it to manage the Kali Linux CRUT environment on your Android device. This includes installing and removing tools, configuring settings, and accessing the command line interface version of Kali Linux. If your device does not have Lineage OS support, you can follow a similar process to install it. Sometimes, after a successful flash, if you do not find out the NetHunter applications, then you will have to flash the Kali NetHunter from TWRP Recovery Software. Now, switch off your mobile and switch to the TWRP Recovery Mode by pressing the Power button, Volume Up, and Home button simultaneously. Here click on install and tap on the downloaded Kali NetHunter zip file. It will automatically flash the software and install the required packages. After a successful flash, tap on the reboot system. As you can notice, Kali NetHunter is successfully visualized, which means we have successfully installed Kali NetHunter. Now, launch Kali NetHunter application from application menu.
Now, grant super user privilege. Once super user privilege is granted, the Kali NetHunter app automatically detects installation files. Kali NetHunter successfully boots up, but Kali CRUT Manager is not up and running. To set up Kali CRUT, tap on the Kali CRUT Manager icon. If you face this error, we will have to install Kali CRUT manually. Firstly, extract the zip file. After extraction, you will have to copy the tar.xz file to the home directory. Now go back to NetHunter. Here, tap on Kali CRUT and then tap on Restore from Local Storage. Now, edit the path of the Kali CRUT file. Now, click OK to start the installation. This installation process may take time, based on system performance. CRUT Manager is successfully installed, but various file systems are not yet mounted. So we have to start CRUT to start Kali CRUT environment. Now Kali CRUT is up. When the Kali CRUT Manager is running, you can use it to manage the Kali Linux CRUT environment on your Android device. This includes installing and removing tools, configuring settings, and accessing the command line interface version of Kali Linux. If there are any queries regarding this video, you can mention them in my comment section.